last time when I talked about the note detector machine and what it can do as far as translating notes from an incoming audio signal into MIDI data that can then be altered and used later in your song projects. So now we're gonna see what we can do with a vocal mic hooked up to this note detector machine. If we will be able to hum a melody and have that recorded in the same tone as our synthesizer or whatever. I'm expecting there to be a few hiccups along the way. This is by no means a very perfect method of doing things. If this is your first time here on the channel, you might be wondering why I'm using something that's so out of date. Maybe you've never even heard of Jess Buzz before. Well, the short answer is that it's free, and I've also been a Buzz user for a very long time, so the environment is very familiar to me. And also, I believe that among the free software choices that you have, Buzz is still one of the very most powerful. The synthesizer sound is going to be what our vocal sound becomes when it's recorded. So then we have the main star of our show here is the note detector, of course. So as we feed this input, this note name and octave will change. Down here we have the MIDI send target, so this is very important. We want to make sure that our tile baseline is checked and it stays highlighted. My only complaints about this whole system is how sensitive the input is. It's hard for you to hold right on an exact note without it fluttering between that note and the next available sharp or flat. One of the last things that makes this setup work here is the ASIO in by Polak. It has to be set to Polak ASIO for the sound driver, otherwise this machine right here will not work and you will not get the input from your audio interface. And now we're going to get ready for the really obnoxious part and we're going to test this out and this is going to be a little bit messy at first. When I hum into the microphone, then the ASIO in picks that up and feeds it to the G-Snap and it gets auto-tuned and then the auto-tuned signal goes into the note detector which detects the note, and then that sends the signal over to the tile baseline, which then plays back what I was humming. Sometimes it'll get confused and it will get stuck between a note and its half step, and sometimes after I stop making noise, then it won't send the off command. So all we want to do is just make sure that this is looping and we want to hit the record button, and then we can start humming some weird stuff and recording it. Okay, get that gives us something weird just to demonstrate with here. Okay, so obviously our challenge now is just going to be going into this pattern and then picking out, did it mean A or A sharp? We got all these little fluttering around pitches that aren't supposed to be there. Yeah, so we can tell it notes we want. We want the A, A sharp and then... And then we want to keep the F and the D. So everything else except the F and the D in here, we're going to delete. And we're going to delete everything down here because it just got kind of random and just clean up all this stuff in between. All right, so you get the point. Um, basically, we use this so if we have a melody that's in our head and we want to know what notes are in that melody or if we just want to directly record that so we can use it in a song project here, we have a way to completely just cheat and take the absolute lazy method and it works fairly good. There's definitely some editing and some cleanup to do after the fact, but I think this note detector machine right here is pretty darn useful in the greater scheme of things.